something has to be bigger than than the threat you see hmm. some people they feel no if i turn to truth then nobody's going to want me i'm never going to get married who who marries a saint or a <laughs> or a monk or something like this and just a minute postpone postpone <laughs> you see something inside is bigger than that and the threat is only big while you are afraid and but when you say yes everything go everything go i used to teach in college not teacher in college, local college. And I used to invite some of my students to come back to the house and paint. But then the life was changing very powerfully. And at a certain point, I felt, I don't want this anymore. All these students, it's not doesn't feel right anymore. They come, they drink beer, they're painting and laughing, making a lot of noise. and It doesn't feel right anymore. I don't want this anymore. I remember the, the day exactly in the park where it came so, so clear and praying, Lord, I don't want this anymore. You see, I know that this has to stop. And please just give me the strength to tell them, each one, there was like about nine of them, to say, look, guys, please, I, right now it's just not working out for you to and this is big thing for me because it would be like turning them down and there was lots of things like this but in that moment the choice was yes okay just show me how give me the strength to speak with them you see yes okay and you know what happened from this day nobody came to my house he's my students None came. I never went to one of them and say, Look, start with the easy one. <laughs> it's not working out. I never said anything at all. It just did not happen. And until this day, I never asked, Why you don't come anymore? I just left it. And I knew this is grace. But you must choose freedom. You see, don't pretend, well, let's see if it works out. No, you must choose. Not, I want, no, I choose. I choose this. And let the consequences come, because that is true. That is faith. That is trust. And walk with that. And therefore, because of this, each one I tell exactly the same thing. Don't back away. Don't run away. Don't give your mind this, this option. Don't put it on top. Don't respect it. It's not your friend. Not yet, it's not your friend. It's not your guru. Don't listen to him. So I know these things, how they come. It can manifest like this, these powerful feelings inside the body. And, but still, even in the most powerful pulsations, the power and the presence of that inner one can stay unshakable, you see. So my attitude to this, don't go to the doctor, you don't have to go to the doctor. You want to go, go. But I would not advise you, oh, go to the doctor and say, you know what, let it take the body, tell him, take the body then. But can you take me? Can you take what I am? Can you take what does not belong to you? Take it if it belongs to you. This is walking through the valley of the shadow of death. Not the valley of death. The valley of the shadows of death. This is what. So, my answer is simple. Don't be afraid. Or feel fear. But say yes anyway. You want life to be served on a platter for you. 
We want so much, want everything, but offer so little of ourselves. No, you must be bold, must be strong. And the greatest strength is to say yes to the true. Yes to the true. Come what may. Perhaps this is why somehow your meditation did not complete, because some other things inside was fighting against that. This voice of you know, oh, I can't, I can't do this. You really need to examine who, who, whose voice it is, because you, without even checking, you are you are just accepting this is this is me. It is not one's true. Your true voice is not this. It is not, you know. It is our kind of cultured self, the the idea we have taken to be who we are, is 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 speaking like that. And if you live uh, with this voice as a representative of who you are, you you will not be happy. <coughs> And you are happiness itself. I can I can feel it, but the the pain and the pressure yeah. in my body push me away from this state of acceptance, and I don't know why and. It really pushed me away, because I had experience where I didn't feel anything, and I was feeling so light and really peace. Something, and say the pain inside pushes something. Some fear comes, and the feeling, oh no, I can't go, and all of this. But I really have to ask you, in all seriousness, are are you not? Is there not a space in which this pain and the apparent the, the one, the intimate feeling of self, with all its reactions and so on, is seeable, is seen or not? And it feels a powerful effect, and then it calms down and it changes, and the change is seen. The, the presence of a kind of suffering me, and the absence of the suffering me. Are they not sensations in consciousness which is equal? If I cannot convey this to you, I have nothing really to convey with it to you, because the rest is too ridiculous. If I cannot get this across to you, that you are your higher self, there's always that space, but we are so focused on, on the story of me, and the reactions that happen, and and this is happening to me, and we feel the me is all you know. But the me is also known, it's also seen. But then you feel, but, but there, there is no life in that knowing place where I or me becomes on, only an object in that view. But that's only another assumption. You have not tested that water. You maybe imagine that when the you is seen to be not real in, in, that, in quite that way, it's only a costume, a mask, worn by the Absolute. And if that is seen, it's like end of life, end of. No more fun, as though mine is the seat of fun. No more fun, no more joy. It's just, I'm going to be sitting on a shelf like a Buddha, and what's the fun? This is all your mind. It's all, 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 all mind. I am not that mind. Therefore, I come to share with you all this. The infinite space that you are, which can include the small self, but uh, just superficially, playfully. But now, this small idea of self, is like your life. And even then, in this little life, you're making little compromises to just 
get a little bit of juice out of that. You are the mighty being. You are the mighty being. Not for the time being. You are the mighty being. You see? What it means, mighty being? You all know it. You know it's not enough, this. You know it's this, this, this is not enough. But you're afraid to find that which is more than enough, which is no distance from you, except the distance of a thought or some concepts which you momentarily treasure and give value to, like that. And it's not a blame, but it's a mighty invitation to say, take a step. I, it pains me to see someone like you, who, who, who is everything, discovering your everything has reduced to a beggar in your own kingdom. And it's not about riches. You are wealth. You are the wealth. You are the wealth. There are many beings, even now, who are willing to die for what they believe. And you're not even really going to die. You're going to live, and you're afraid even, to die the stupid death, to live the timeless being. And there's a song, it says, Let me die now, so I don't have to die again. What does it mean? To die to what is un unreal, to die to death, to kill death. I can only encourage you, because I know the power is in you to do all the things that we speak. And it's not a big, it's not a big thing, it's big in its effect and its impact, but for you it's not big. Sometimes to say, what is my life if I will not be free? What is your life if you are not free? Each day we go out into the world, so to speak, uh, with this label, I am a person. That's the label, that's your vibration. So therefore, you are saying to the world, I'm a person. Treat me like a person. Okay? And we're all doing this. But when you, when you enter yourself and be fully there in spite of whatever, you, know, you don't have to go out and say anything. But at least you are you. I cannot look on you and perceive you in any small terms. Because I know you are the one who dwells here. So I cannot tell you to do a lesser thing. I can tell you even to do, to do. But come on! Come on! What is this? I love you too much to treat you as a person. <laughs>